Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Student Loan Television. My name is Heath Holohan. And today we're going to go over a couple things that we normally do. But I'm actually is going to bring us up to telling you about something I'm really excited about that I found in my research for things. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is student loan news, like we have been. Uh, this is once from March 19th, with federal bill and choose some Congress can lower interest rates on student loans. As I've told you, all student loan changes come from Congress. Now, this one is coming from um, Elizabeth Warren, who has definitely been leading the charge and trying to get this refinanced. And what she wants, to, what the bill will do if passed, and most people predict it won't pass, but if passed, it says that... Um, It'll take the interest rate and we refinance under 3.86% for um, undergrad loans, graduate loans at 5.41, and parent plus loans at 6.41, and it says it would save borrowers an average of $2,000 per loan. Because currently, you can't refinance federal for federal. Um, so that's where that comes in. Now, you can refinance with a private company, a private bank, in fact, the only research there is one that I've found that I do sponsor, and I will, I'll talk about them a little bit later, and I'm going to put a link down, and it's for people who I would normally, you know, um, who I've suggested my family and whatnot to go with, but like I said, you can certainly go with anyone else that you want. Um, now, the other thing, though, that I want to talk to you about it, and it goes into the same exact thing I was just referring to is Parent PLUS loans. Now, this article I've pulled up was everything you need to know about Parent PLUS loans, but what, and it's usually it says to cover the gap whenever stuff can't be afforded, but what I wanted to point out is that it is something, now I'm not seeing it here in the actual article, um, let me, okay, there we go. Um, so the payment parent plus loans fall on the shoulders of the parents, and like I told you before, they are loans that, um, I've actually mentioned in one of my videos that they cannot be, that they cannot be transferred, but that's if you're looking for just federal to federal, it says it can never be transferred to a student even after graduation. But there's actually one bank, um, it is DRB, um, a bank in Connecticut, that actually, and that's why I actually have chosen them as the bank that I want to basically tell people that I would go with, because they do allow you to have a parent, do have a, the loan refinanced out of the parent's name and into the child's name. They're one of the only ones I've seen that will actually let you do this. So it's definitely something that's exciting and that I would really suggest you looking into if you can. Now this is a this is someone that like a Twitter I um, have a financial partnership with. If you do sign up and you use the link I give you, it's go you know, certainly I would get you know, credit for a piece of that sale, but it would not cost you any extra. And you can research other banks if you want, like if you're trying to just refinance your loans. But DRB is the only one I've seen that does Parent PLUS loans alone. So I'm going to actually include a link into right below, actually one of the first things that I put so that you can, so that you can take advantage of that. And it'll be my affiliate link. And like I said, I do get credit for it. However, um, if you don't want to go with DRB and you know that isn't an option for you, that's perfectly fine. But something that, like I said, I I really like them and I've suggested it to my you know to my family and whatnot. So hopefully, though, this covers a problem that most people have, and it's nice for Parent Plus loans because one of the reasons why people want to refinance over in this story is that you would keep some of the government protections. Whereas you do it with a private bank, you don't get those. But a lot of people either make too much money to have it processed or whatever to have um, it transferred. 
and it just doesn't make I'm not transferred um make too much money to qualify for an income plan or something like that. So it just makes sense to go for the lowest interest rate as you know as opposed to anything else. So I will put the link there for DRB down below, and if you have any questions, we'll be able to talk about them in the comments. So that kind of covers the two issues we want to discuss today. Um, and as always, if you wish to contact me, the information on studentloaninsider.org slash contact, you can go ahead and get a hold of me. Uh, best email is studentloaninsider at gmail.com. Uh, we can, you can reach me on Facebook at facebook.com slash studentloaninsider, Twitter at stdntlninsider, uh, Google Plus, just search my name, Heath Holohan, and you can also search studentloaninsider on Gmail and is also, I mean, on sorry, YouTube, and there's also fax, mail, phone, whatever else you want to do. So hopefully this gives you an idea. Like I said, I'll include the link for DRB down below if you have anything else you need. Um, if you have any other questions or topics you want me to discuss, please feel free to contact me with them. I'll put them in the comments, and I'd be glad to do so. Okay, great. Well, I hope you have a great day, and I appreciate your time.